Hi everybody, we are Lore Heroes. We are a new channel hoping to discuss the story in video games. Today we'll be talking about Mass Effect, which is our favorite video game that we play together a lot. Uh, you want to discuss what we're talking about? So today we're going to be discussing possible new Mass Effect plot lines, or maybe Mass Effect Contact plot lines. And today we're going to be discussing the Virtual Aliens and the Ralloy. And the Virtual Aliens and the Ralloy aren't very well known within the Mass Effect community, even for huge fans. We, we just learned about them like a month ago, and I've been a fan since Mass Effect 2 came out for the PlayStation 3, which would have been early 2011. You've been, how long have you been playing? 20, about a year now. Yeah, about a year. That's yeah. about it. Uh, so here we're going to be going in depth about it. Uh, so why don't you introduce the, the topic of the Virtual Aliens and the Rally, because I know you introduced okay. me to this, yes. and not a lot of people know about it. Yes. Uh, the Virtual Aliens and the Rally, if you... Go back and look into the Mass Effect codexes and whatnot. You will learn about a race called the Ralloy, which you can't probably see. But the Ralloy were a bird race that just hit the Citadel, like just made contact with the Asari when the Mass Effect series starts. Now, the Ralloy didn't build their own spaceship and fly to the Citadel. No, they had They built a, a telescope, much like Hubble, and yes. they saw the As an Asari warship yes. within their system. And that's how they made first contact with yeah. the Asari, and then they went, they didn't, it's not like were they, they built, uplifted? They were not uplifted. It was just like a transport that took okay. delegates and okay. embassy, uh, embassy basically. Basically important people. So that's a big moment for them. The yes. Ralloy. And another thing with the Ralloy, they have to wear environmental suits. Because of a flu outbreak. The bird flu? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that's another, I don't know if we said this or not, the Ralloy are bird creatures. Yeah. From what we described, they have feathers and whatnot and wings. Yes, they, they can fly. They fly. They're cool. And the reason we're talking about this, I remember hearing a rumor from PAX, I think, 2012. Yes, they had a secret meeting. A secret meeting with people... With Mass Effect fans. Yeah, with mean. Mass Effect fans. They wanted to get their opinion on what they have so far. This is, again, total rumor. We have nothing to be sure of. And but this guy could be making it up, probably. He probably was. It's just it's for... Good. Egomaniacal reasons like we're doing he wants here. Attention. Yeah, it's like we do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but his what he said. There were two new species that he introduced. One was considered skeletal, uh, ancient. What? No, 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 skeletal, skeletal, skeletal and arrogant. Skeletal and arrogant. That that to me kind of sounds like a bird. When I think a bird, I think they're kind of thin, kind of bony. Yep. And arrogant. Again, birds. The, the Ralloy destroyed all of the satellites around their home planet, hoping that the Reapers wouldn't attack them. That's arrogant. That sounds a little arrogant yeah. to me. Like, they weren't willing to help the rest of the galaxy. They thought, let's blow up our shit, they'll leave us alone. And, they'll leave, and we will take over the next cycle. That's what they were thinking. They and want, they would have, too. They, they would have, yes. They hit space. Oh my god, fucking Ralloy. They would yeah. have 50,000 years to, do to whatever dominate they want. and subjugate... Okay, well, the Yogg are there, but... The Yogg... No, the Yogg were not... Were the Yogg close to... Then they just I think the Yogg were just building their first spaceship. Okay. I don't know. Who do you think we're going to fight? <laughs> I, think, I, think the, I think the Yogg would tear apart the birds. The Yogg are so overpowered, man. They're geniuses. That's why we will not see the Yogg in the next game. Probably. Because they're just... You know, the, the fight in Mass Effect... What was it, 2? Shadow Broker. The Shadow, Shadow Broker, Broker DLC... DLC. That Yogg was incredibly hard to kill. I know he had the shield and whatever yeah. on that ship, but it's like taking that motherfucker down was a boss fight. It, yeah. it, was, it was a boss fight. You can't fight. just have 50 bosses running at you. That, that'd be insanely hard. <laughs> um, so we will, I don't think we will see the Yogg. Okay. okay Back so to the, the idea the, about the Rally. And that was the thing we think the Rally are, the, are these arrogant skeletal races we were introduced. However, the other race that we were introduced to were described as space golems. And am I right? Was it yes, gold? They were described as space gold, almost having like this mechanical glow, like yes. a death. That's what they were saying. Do you want to explain the virtual aliens? You probably know more about them than I do. So the virtual aliens, uh, what was it? Uh, a human, a human scientist. A human scientist boarded the virtual alien ship. Let's, and let's get so let's, let's back describe. Up and, and yeah, let's what not the just... ship is? The ship is a giant ship that holds a one billion of these. Uh, virtual aliens. Virtual aliens. They're, they're not like a person, but their consciousness and their soul and their intelligence, their individual intelligences are 
loaded onto his computer on a ship. And the reason that is, is because their homeworld was going to be destroyed. Because their star was going yes. supernova. And they were smart enough. They're, and they're an 8,000 year old race. 8,000 years ago. And the Asari only came to the Citadel, what, like 3,000 yeah, years? Yeah, the Asari uh, will we'll probably correct that. Hopefully, because yeah. I might be wrong. Asari was 3,000 years ago. And the space These guys were in space 5,000 years before they were. And they had AI technology because the AI is running the ship. There is no virtual alien left. It's just an AI controlling the ship. Of all the consciousness together. And these guys uploaded their consciousness there. They left their bodies on their planet to be destroyed while they flew off in and, theory to live forever. Yes. And they're 8,000 years old. The space golems described as ancient space golems. They've got 5,000 years on the Asari, the most advanced race. That, to me, describes them as ancient. That means yes. they're older. Yes. They, they're gonna and so the, the, how we get, you know, we, we just laid out this idea of their consciousness, but there's no bodies. How do we get space golems? Well, you think after the Reaper War, there's going to be a bunch of Reaper tech laying around. And you think that they would be smart enough, especially when they've made contact with the other sentient species that are on the Citadel, that they would want to have their own bodies and they would want to be able to interact with other species. So that's where the the Reaper debris after the Reaper War, that they use the Reaper tech to build their own bodies, whether, you know, are they super advanced, like Geth after they get the code uploaded, if you did that, if not, fuck you, because the Geth are awesome, <laughs> and they deserve to live. But, um... They may not be these awesome, super powerful, you know, yeah. AI, but they're going to have consciousness, they're going to have organic consciousness in a mechanical body. Yes, because they, cool. they can upload their consciousness, they can upload their consciousness into, they can upload their, they can, they can, into humans, can't into they? Into humans, yes. They the, can the upload doctor, into an organic body. The doctor that or boarded not. the ship, a virtual alien, actually swapped their consciousness with the doctor, and that doctor... The doctor's body with a virtual alien mind went to the Citadel as a delegate, An ambassador, envoy, envoy for, for his people, for her people. I don't know. For it is don't, her people. It's people. It's, people. We'll it's, a, it's it a computer. Yeah. It, it's an it. Well, it, we'll call it it because we don't know. Okay. So how would this fit into the plot? Would we be fighting the Raloid? Would we be fighting the virtual aliens and these space golems? This entire thing relies on it being called, hopefully... Mass, Mass Effect, Effect Contact. Contact, yes. Which was a rumor, popular rumor, that of series insiders claiming to be true. And again, we're shooting this two days before E3. When they're two going days before to E3, so hopefully God we'll willing. see a virtual alien or a rally, hopefully, and we will point that out to you if yes. they don't already point that out yes. at E3, where they say, okay, this is our new race, yep. and this is another race, and maybe they even lay out more of the, the lore behind the virtual aliens and the rally. I'm sure they uh, or will they leave it a secret? Because Bioware's secret. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. It's it's honestly a really cool thing that we're doing this. This is something we just decided to do out of the blue. Yeah. Just a couple days ago, you had the idea, and now here we are. Yeah. And just thank you guys for watching very much. If you guys even decide to watch. I know we're just two annoying guys. We probably got most of our ideas wrong, and we're just dumb. But thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe. We will be uploading more videos, even if this doesn't turn out well, which it probably won't. <laughs> or at least it probably won't turn out well. If you guys have any questions, comments, ideas, uh, corrections, I know, because I'm pretty sure the Asari weren't in space 3,000 years ago. Yeah, <laughs> math problems, you know. Yeah. If you have any math problems, hell, you know. We'll do your homework. We need yeah, viewers. Anything. Just comment <laughs> anything, your ideas. We'd love Absolutely. to talk about them. We would love for you to share them with us, and we'd love to share our comments on your your ideas. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. Yep. This is our first video of Lore Heroes. Hopefully, first of many. Thank you.